Hey you guys, Courtney here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to me. If this is your first time with me. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I do appreciate it. If this is not your first time with me, then hey you guys, what's up? If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, tap subscribe, and hit the ring dingy bell for notifications. I will support you back. So today I decided to do a requested video from a subscriber and it is actually about some of my favorite brushes and how I keep them clean and um, yeah just some really fun stuff and I do of course this beautiful eye look um, with the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills uh, Mono Renaissance palette and I actually love it. I love it. I love it so much. It came out so beautiful. And um, yeah, so if you guys want to see some of my favorite brushes and how I got this look on my eyes and uh, what I use, because I kind of walk through the steps and yeah, you just have to watch it. You guys know the drill. Just keep on watching. I'll be right back. Hey guys, okay, so I had a special request to do this video and this is going to be a video on my favorite brushes and how I keep them clean and basically what I use them for and, and I figured I could just walk through each step with you guys and tell you guys which ones are my favorite and at the end of the video or towards the end of the video I'm going to do an eye look because obviously I'm going to have like way too many favorite eye brushes, right? So. Yeah, I do. I have a lot of eye brushes. So first, I want to show you guys how I keep my brushes and my sponges clean. And the number one thing for me is, no doubt, this is called the Cinema Secret Makeup Brush Cleaner. And this is something that is absolutely amazing. And I did bring out a white towel to show you guys just this example of kind of how I keep my brushes clean. Um, these give this gives a deep clean, and it also gives. I mean, it'll give you any kind of clean you want, honestly. So, um, this is the Natural Hair Goat Brush. Um, this is a the RG36. It's my highlighting brush. And I'm not cleaning this in a really long time. So, this is Cinema Secrets. This is what the the bottle looks like. Um, this is 99.99% bacterial-free, bacteria-free, quick-drying, rinse-free formulas. This is a dry cleaner. So, you pour some in a little tin here. I will link this down below. I think I got this little kit from um, Amazon, but it comes in a little kit. It says Cinema Secrets on it, and it's in that box. And I'm just going to show you guys just a really good example of how I clean my brushes. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I have two favorites, and this is my first one. So, I barely dip this in, dip the, this brush in here. And, I mean, it soaks it up. Like, it really soaks it up. And so I'm going to take this part of the towel and I'm going to, yeah, that's highlighter. I have not cleaned this brush in a long time because I don't use this brush every day. But yeah, that's highlighter. That's a little bit gross, actually. Highlighter is actually very dark. And I've used a lot of the Bridget, the color Bridget from Gerard Cosmetics with this. So that's pretty much what's on this towel. So, all right. So... I want to show you guys what the finished product is here and you are probably going to flip out if you've never seen the results of this yeah that's and that's the result <laughs> that is like more than a result like that is amazing with goat hair br bristles or with any natural hair bristles you're going to lose some hair from there so you have to kind of be careful you can't go through and go ham on it and like do this because you will lose some hair you will lose some bristles but with this one um like with my eye brushes, it's the same thing. I'll just go in and just kind of spin it around and around, and I'm just gonna kind of, kind of squish this around in here and get the rest of this stuff off of here. I mean, this stuff, oh my gosh, this stuff is so good. You can get it in all different sizes. I believe you can get it at Sephora, but you can also get it on Amazon. If you want a really large thing of it, it's gonna cost a little bit, but if you just get this little starter one, I believe it's $20 or less. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I will I will link it down at the bottom with the one I, that I got. And they do have a smaller container of it that you don't have to get the tin. And if you do have a high, um, if you're very sensitive to um, like smells or like alcohol or anything like that, because like you can still smell it in the brush. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't burn your eyes. I can tell you that. But that is a clean brush, you guys. That is a clean, dry brush. 
but um, you might want to try the smaller one first just to see if it is something that you can use and it doesn't bother you so but this is a professional grade um, brush cleaner and it says start cleaning your tools like a pro with the cinema secrets makeup brush cleaner and it is the bonus with the new cleansing tin um, it's stubborn dried on makeup melts away and brushes dry in a flash without a drop of water so yes you don't have to use water with this and it is just the best cleaning stuff ever this stuff is absolutely amazing and it is my number one go-to brush cleaner and it is definitely um, like antimicrobial it's got that really strong alcohol in it and I love it so for sponges and for like a, a like if I were to clean my artiste brush which I just cleaned out a couple days ago um, this is my router dye this is the eco tools makeup brush shampoo um, this is for a deep weekly cleanse free of parabens phthalates dermatologist tested hyperallergenic and this is says it removes more than 90 percent of makeup and it's cruelty free and um recyclable so this is a really 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 good shampoo for brushes if you rather use like a liquid shampoo 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 <laughs> and let them dry this is what i go for um and if you want to you can just use plain old dawn plain old dawn it works this is good so those are my favorite brush cleaners and now i'm going to move on to my favorite brushes and sponges so you guys know that i have been using this foundation sponge i am a sponge girl when it comes to foundation i love my brows look kind of crazy don't they but i love foundation sponges um the only time i ever use my brush is when i use this brush um, for my Rimmel that I have. I have that on today because it's super, super quick to put on and you guys know how much I love it. But, um, I love this foundation sponge. This is one I just did a review on. I will try to link it to remember to link it up there so you guys can see it. But this is just, I mean, it starts off, I use this too, but it starts off really small like this and then it gets larger, obviously, this to the size. And this is just so good to put, to put makeup on in a quick hurry and it's amazing. And it comes from Walmart and it's super cheap. So a couple of my other favorite sponges um, are from Morphe and this one is better for like foundation to apply foundation. This one is better for doing concealer and doing under the eyes or if you wanted to uh, set with this one, you could set with this one. This is also good for setting. Um, so those are a couple of my favorite sponges along with this little baking sponge here and I use it today and that's why it has all this stuff on it. but. It is so good for getting up underneath the eyes. I don't bake my face because I do have dry skin, but this come this come this came from a Shop Miss A and it's only a dollar. And speaking of Shop Miss A, hold on just a second. Shop Miss A has the best face sponges, you guys. They are so soft. And if I had to choose between these and beauty blenders, these hands down, without a doubt, are much better for me. They're only a dollar and they, they, when they are wet, they apply your foundation like a dream. They do. It does not, there's no questions asked. I love these, these freaking sponges. <laughs> I will link all this stuff down below and you guys can go and check it out. But so these are all of my favorite sponges. Um, you know, and I always love a beauty blender. Who doesn't love a beauty blender? But these are just really, really good options if you don't want to pay for the beauty, beauty blender price. And um, the Morphe ones are not super cheap, but they're not like beauty, beauty blender. Um, I can't say that word today. They're not super expensive. So these, I think, run around seven, eight dollars. These are only a dollar a piece. And this one is three something from Walmart. So, and this one's a dollar twenty five, I think. So as far as foundation sponges and any kind of sponges, these are just my favorite ones. So, okay, so for, as far as foundation, like foundation brushes, this is my favorite one, my Artiste one. And I know that this one is very, very pricey, but any kind of brush like this is, has super thick bristles is really good for doing foundation on my face. I don't use a lot of foundation brushes, but I do have three that I use and I will show you what I use. So I'm gonna get my, my big old brush thing here all right so the only other foundation brushes this actually needs to be cleaned um the only other foundation brushes i'll use besides that one are these two and one of them is by clinique and one of them is by it cosmetics um now this one is like a foundation buffing brush and this one is really good to buff the foundation to the skin but not for every single foundation this is only good for certain ones obviously it works really good with the beyond perfecting um, foundation from clinique but my other favorite one is it cosmetics the heavenly Lux buffing brush and i think that we're getting this in one of our boxes this month and i don't know which one it is 
Possibly, um, maybe Ipsy Plus. Is it Ipsy Plus? Yeah, maybe Ipsy Plus. I might be getting this. But since I already have this and I'm getting this, I'm going to give, um, and Sherry doesn't have, I'm going to give it to her. So, um, but this is one of my favorites. This is the reason why I don't have the Morphe, the Y6 or whatever it's called now. Um, because this one to me, I felt it. And this one to me is just better. And since I don't use foundation brushes very much or concealer brushes for that matter, I don't use concealer brushes at all, but this is the one that I like. So these three are my top three foundation brushes. So anything that, that, that can, that has this shape, if you're looking for a good foundation brush, it's going to be one of these three. Okay. So for setting, I have a problem with setting brushes, you guys. Um, and I didn't realize it until I went to go think about what I was going to do for this video. And I have a problem with setting brushes. So my, uh, first I'll show you my top two favorite setting brushes. One of them I just got a long ago, but this is the Mr. Right brush. You guys have seen me use this a couple times already and I just love it. I love it. It just sets the face so well in the shape of it. If you know me, you know that I have been looking for a setting brush, a big fat setting brush for a while. I thought that it was going to be in, come in the shape of like this. Like I wanted a big dome shape like this, but this is too stiff. This is from e.l.f. and this is the number 101 and this is very inexpensive. So if you guys are looking for an inexpensive option, this is, this is good, but it's just stiff. For me, it's too stiff, but it is large, very large very very large so so but these two are my favorite so this one is from also from it cosmetics and it is just it's the heavenly ball um let me see it's the heavenly Lux wand ball powder and this is the number eight so it is in the same collection as this brush but it is the wand ball powder and i just love the way that it's so see how it like when I put it across my face, how soft it is. It just like, that's what I look for in a setting brush. Like just softness of a setting brush. And this one is the same way. It's so soft. This one's a little bit larger though. I know it doesn't look like it, but it is. It's a little bit larger. All right, so these are my top two. And another favorite of mine is the one from Tarte. The, it has the mermaid seat on it, which I could care less about this. But this is a great brush. This brush is so soft. Look at this. But do you see, like, when I go to put it on my face, like, what it does here? How you can see the edges of it? It's what I don't like. So, when I use this one, I use this one a lot to set down here in this area. You know, especially in the summer. Oh, it's going to be so good for, for setting down here when I'm trying to match up my makeup to my, um, in my face to my to a sun sunburn or suntan if i get any of that so this would be good for that and it's so look at that i just love a brush that does that it's just amazing i have a problem with setting brushes okay so this one i will link down below as well this is a good brush this came from um, amazon and this is just a really big puffy puffy powder brush and it's it's quite ginormous but it is really, really, really good for the price. I paid, I think I paid like five or six dollars for this. So I will link this below down below as well. And one more that I will mention, or a couple more that I'll mention. This one was my favorite for a really long time. This is the Eco Tools Sheer Powder Brush, and it's a really good shape and it's super soft as well. But this one is a natural hair. This is the only natural hair uh, setting brush that I have. This is from Morphe. This is a Morphe M107, and it's just a little bit too stiff. It is just a little bit too stiff for my face. But this is a good option if you're looking for a natural hair one. It's a good option at a good price. So, and then another one that is definitely for beauty on a budget. This is the Real Techniques um, Flawless Face Powder Brush, I think is what it's called. Or powder brush, whatever. <laughs> but it's super, super, super big and it's super soft and I love it. So, this is definitely a good brush. So, there's a lot of options there for brushes. But, yeah, these are, this is, this is... Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a problem. I have a problem with brushes, period. But setting brushes and eye brushes, oof, big problem. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is what I use for um, these right here. I do like, um, I like this sometimes when I want to do a really light contour under the neck and just kind of bring it down. Or if I want to do a really, really, really light highlight, which is hardly ever, but this is good for that. And this came from AOA. This is the F11, and this is this was a dollar. So I just want to mention that that was an honorable mention. 
all right so as far as like blush and contour goes um i love this eco tools contouring brush this is really good to start a good contour chisel right here um it's really really dense and really really flat so this is a good option it's called the wonder cover complexion brush so this is really good um i also love the Luxie brush. This one is good as well. Just to you know, start a contour and then just to kind of buff, buff it out. It does really, really good. I use this one on daily, pretty much. So this is the one I use a lot. This is this is the one I use the most. Um, and then also, you guys know that I don't use the same brush to go up into the top up here when I do contour. Um, I usually use um, another Luxie brush or I know, like another one. A good option is if you have this crown. Um, I don't know what brush this is, but this is a crown brush. If you have this, this is really good to go up here in the forehead with. So this is a good um, option as far as like on a budget. Um, I guess that's about it as far as like contouring up in here. Um, Royal and Lane Nickel. This is the one that I use to go down into the bottom of my, my chin to chisel out down here. And this is when I want to do a, a really good bronze. This is the one that I use and I really love it because it's soft because it's technically a powder brush, but this is too small for me as a powder brush. So for me, it works much better um, to go up underneath the chin with. Um, you can also use a stiff foundation brush to do this with and it works just as well, but I really like it for this reason and I like it because it's super soft to bring down. Like that big fan, if I wanted to do a really soft contour under here, that's what I would use, but this, this is what I use pretty much all the time. I love it it's very 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 good um, now when I want to go back in and do a bronze on the face like an actual bronze on the face as opposed to um, contouring I will use a stippling brush I know that's very weird but I use a stippling brush and I'll show you guys kind of what I do I just kind of bring it back up you know just barely up through here and that's just for like a shimmery bronzer don't use a lot of shimmery bronzers in the winter, but like in the summer, this is what I would do. Like just a really light shimmery bronze. And that's why I like the stippling brush because the stippling fibers, a duo fiber brush, because the, the stippling fibers make it to where it's just not so heavy on the face and, and you can just kind of wisp it on there. But if you want a heavier, obviously, if you want a heavier bronze, you can use a face brush or something like that. Um, even this will be really good for bronzing if you wanted to use a bronzer with that. So I feel like I just put a lot of bronzer on my face. <laughs> okay, so as far as blush goes, I mainly have, um, sorry, I have to like put my leg up since I'm like not doing anything and talking to you guys. So I have two favorite blush brushes and they look exactly the same and except one's bigger than the other. This is a cosmetics and this is the, um, the soft touch blush. It's the C6155. It is very good for putting on blush in any place of the face. It's really, really, really fluffy. Um, but when you're trying to dig into a palette like this, it's kind of big for that. I mean, it'll work, but it's kind of big for that. So that's why I like this one better. This is my, this is my go-to blush brush. And this is from Morphe. And this is just, just a really soft brush. And I don't know what the number on this is because my friend Sherry gave it to me and it came in a, a set. But anything, you could put blush on with anything, you guys. You could put blush on with anything because blush is something that is very easily applied and if you wanted to use a bronzer blush to, a bronzer brush to put blush on you could use it i also have another favorite blush and this is the blooming brush from bare minerals this is really good for blush this is what uh, the only thing i used to use for blush before i got those other two this is the only thing i used to use for blush and it's really good because it's it's a little stiff but if you want to flatten it out you can so there's a whole lot of applications Blush is probably the easiest brush to find, you know, as, as, as far as like a, a ride or die blush brush. So that, that, but those are just mine. Okay, so as far as highlighter goes, I have a couple of brushes here that I really, really will really like for highlighter. I just cleaned one of them. I don't know where it went, but y'all saw it. It was the RG, the RG36. I can't find it now. <laughs> But anyways, okay, so the best invention ever in my book for highlighter, doing highlighter with a sponge, with a sponge tip like this, 
This is absolutely an amazing way to apply highlighter. This is the e.l.f. one. This is the e.l.f. Intense Highlighting Sponge. And this is like $3 from e.l.f. Um, you can get it on the online store. How I do highlighter with a sponge is I take it and I just kind of bring it up like this. And then I kind of do like this. And then I will take a brush, any kind of brush. This one is really good for it. And then you just kind of blend it in like this for highlighter. And these two, like I, I like a really, really super, super soft tip for, for highlighter. This one by Laura Geller is the best invention ever because it has the sponge with it, but it also has a brush with it too. So, and it's almost shaped like a brush, blush brush, but yeah, it's really small. So it's really good for highlighter. So, and then this is what I used to put on highlighter today. So it's really good. And the sponge tip is so good for getting in the Cupid's bow right here. That's so good for that area. So that's my favorite. My hair is all crazy. All right, so these are my favorites. Um, the Laura Geller and then these two from um, from Swiss Glam, SL Miss Glam. <laughs> these are my favorites. And then the RG36, which I just cleaned that sucker and I don't know where I put it. It's so clean. Oh, there it is. It was so clean. I didn't know. I didn't recognize it. It's this one. It's really, really soft to get up in here and to the, to the edge. I know Sigma has one that I do want to try. And um, so does um, uh, Morphe. I want to try. There's another one from Morphe that I do want to try. So, okay. So now to get on to my eye look. And this is basically like, I have so many eye brushes. And I'm going to show them all to you. And I'm not going to talk about them all. But I'm going to show them all to you. Okay. So here's one thing of eye brushes. These brushes are basically like fluffy brushes that aren't natural hair. These are all synthetic brushes. Um, I have all kinds of brushes in here. There's a concealer brush, but I have all kinds of brushes in here that are fluffy, but they're not natural hair. So this is basically my fluffy non-natural hair blush or, or eye brush um, collection. Then I have all my natural hair brushes. <clears throat> These are all my natural hair eye brushes. And these, okay, well, all right. They're not all natural hair. These are all my natural hair and my nice brushes. Basically my nice brushes. These, these are a couple of Morphe. This is a Morphe brush. That is a natural brush, actually. That's, I'm gonna use that today. Um, this is an It Cosmetics brush, but it's super nice. I probably need to put it in the other thing, but it's not natural hair. Um, and then I have my SL and the Slam brushes in here too, which are not natural, but other than those, the rest of them in here are natural hair brushes and they're mostly from coastal scents and are, are mostly from morphe and coastal scents because i don't have any like super expensive ones so but these little swiss glam brushes right here sl miss glam they're so good so good and so pretty so these are natural hair eye brushes are so so much better to me they're better because they I don't know they just get the product on easier especially when you're working with something like anastasia which i'm going to work with today i'm going to use um my anastasia uh modern renaissance today but these are all of my um like detail brushes and these are like the flat brushes like this and the my pointy brushes like this and a couple of um spoolies and detail for cut crease and eyeliner brushes and such as that that's what is in this container so i have three containers full of eye brushes and then i have this container and this is nothing but luxie brushes so i'm, I'm gonna pull my luxie eye brushes out of here this is a really good detail brush flat brush let me put that where it goes all right so, and I absolutely love all of my Luxie eye brushes. They are some of my, oh, there's my setting brush. I was looking for that. Um, they have the best eye brushes. And so does Morphe. I love my Morphe and I love my Luxie. But these are my eye brushes from Luxie. And these little gold ones are the smaller ones for like hooded eyes, if you have hooded eyes. The little detail brushes right here i love for the brow bone um i love for the outer v um here is my favorite eyelining brush this is if i was to use some gel eyeliner this is the one i would use i love it it's super super precise and super beautiful 
Um, and then these are the four that I like. This is a flat brush. This is so, so amazing for putting a really good layer of sparkle on your eye um, or glitter. It's good for glitter. Um, this is really good for up underneath the eyes. So just a regular flat brush detail. Um, really good for going up in here into the lash line. And then these are just the two fluffy brushes that I like the most from Luxie. And, um, you know, these are synthetic brushes too. So, so we're going to, I'm going to walk through an eye look here. Um, try to make it as short as possible, but I'm going to walk through an eye look here with my Modern Renaissance palette using a combination of my favorite brushes. And I have so many favorite brushes, it's really, really hard to do this. This is hard for me. It's hard for me to, to, to tell you what my favorites are because I love so many eye brushes for so many different things. Um, I have certain ones that I use for, um, you know, a, a certain formula of doing a cut crease. Like if I'm using, if I'm doing a cut crease with nothing but glitter, or if I'm doing a cut crease with a certain concealer, I, there's a certain one that I like for that. If I'm doing, um, you know, a certain, you know, look with my eyes with a certain color, I like a certain brush for that. So it's just, it's, it's, that's why I'm using the Mono Renaissance because those are the colors I, I tend to go to the most and it's just a really good palette. And it's a good way to show you guys how natural hair brushes are just, ugh, they're so much better for the eye. Um, that I need to clean here because I am going to incorporate the Luxie brushes too. Just so you guys can see as far as synthetic brushes, you know, as far as my favorite, like how, how they compare and where I, how I use them for placement. So I'm going to, I'm going to clean these off really quick and then I will be right back with you guys. Okay, you guys. So I got my Modern Renaissance palette and this is a palette. I don't know if, I, if I've used this on camera yet, but I'm super excited to use it because Yes, um, this was a gift, a Christmas gift from um, my best friend Sherry, and I don't think I've used it on camera. Um, I've used it a few times, but I don't think I've used it with you guys, so I'm excited about it. Um, I do love the Anastasia brushes that come in in the Anastasia um, the palettes. I do. Um, I think they're beautiful brushes, and I really love them. And I do tend to use them when I when I use an Anastasia palette. I use them for something. Um, but I don't think I've used this one yet of the Anastasia brush. This is really good as, as far as, uh, you know, blending. Oh, it blends so well. So I'm going to try to, I'm trying, I'm going to try to incorporate this one, but we'll see. So as you guys know, this is what the beautiful Anastasia palette looks like. And I just love it. It is so gorgeous. And I'm so, I feel so blessed to be able to get this and, and thank you so much, Sherry. It is beautiful. I don't like taking the covers off of the mirror, but this is what the beautiful mirror looks like. So, so for today, I'm going to try to do something simple and, and I always like, I feel like I'm always saying that, but I'm going to try my best to do something really simple that some simple everyday look that everybody can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, this is, this is another one of my favorite brush brands. This is the reason why I got this out because this is my Quivage brush, and this is from Amazon. This is a brush that you can actually get for, um, I think there's like 14 of them. And I have been raving about this these brushes for a long time. And you can get them for super cheap. Uh, I think it's they're less than $12 for 14 brushes. I'm not sure how much they are now, but it's a beautiful set. And it, this is the big fluffy eye brush. And it's so good to go down with your first color. So I'm going to take the color Tempura in here, this color right here. And I'm going to set down a base with this brush. So this is a synthetic brush. So I'm going to barely tap into this because this is such a pigmented palette. All of Anastasia is super pigmented. So it's a really good brush for that. So um, now I want to take this really small Luxie brush here little teeny tiny one and this is called a mini flat angled mini flat angled yes mini flat angled so it's not flat but it's definitely mini and it's definitely angled so I'm going to take the same color tempura and I'm going to run that along my brow bone with this brush and I love these little small brushes to put 
a brow bone highlight up here. And hopefully that'll stay up there. <laughs> I think it will. Okay, so I'm going to take um, this Morphe brush. This is a natural hair brush, and this is out of the, me the metal collection of Morphe. And I don't know what the number on this is or anything, but it looks like this, and it's very, 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 very fluffy. Let's do warm taupe. This is warm taupe right here. take the Anastasia brush here and I'm going to blend this out really well. And it just gives such a nice clean blend. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side here. Okay, so I do love that warm taupe color. That's a beautiful color on the eye. Okay, so now I want to go in for one of my natural hair brushes here um, with an, a Morphe brush here. This is a Morphe 321, and this is basically a little detail brush. Um, that's the natural hair brush. It's the Morphe 321, and it's super, super, super soft, but it's really, really nice for getting into the, the like mid-crease. I don't use this a lot, so I wanted to use this today, but this is one of my favorite blending brushes or my favorite crease brushes. So I think for today, I want to kind of just basically go from step to step. I want to use, um, like go from the warm taupe to possibly like the Cypress Umber or maybe even the Bomb Fresco. I'm just, just the warm taupe. So I'm going to go into the Umber, the Cypress Umber. I'm just going to start building up color here in the corner. This is just, oh, I love this brush so much. Um, I'm gonna take, again, the, the brush that I use for my transition, and this is the Anastasia brush that comes with the palette. And I'm just gonna really get this nice and blended on the outside corner here. And I'm gonna try to bring it in a little bit to the crease, but not really like super into the crease. It's like mid to high crease. I just love the way that 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 this brush just places products so good especially this formula that's why I say like certain certain brushes for certain formulas for sure 100% with me for sure if that's the best I mean it's the best advice I can give you for brushes you just have to kind of play around with the with the formula and see what brushes in the brush shapes and the brush types work for your eye shape and I just love this brush for detail work in that corner and even if I wanted to bring it into the crease here, I could because the shape of this brush is perfect for that. But I really want to concentrate on the outside here. Okay, so I got the brown nice and set where I wanted it to be. And I just love it. I love the way that this brown looks. And I don't like brown on my eyes. I really don't. I generally don't like it at all. But I really love this color. You know why? Because it's a cool tone. It's a cool tone brown. In my opinion, it's cool tone. It's not like a super like... It's not like a it's not like a terracotta like brown. It's 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 just a really nice brown. I like it. Okay, so now we're going to bring some of this beautiful red in and I just love it. This color right here. This is the red okra and I'm going to use another synthetic brush and this is the um the Luxy brush and it's very 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 small. And so I'm going to be able to get really really good into the crease into the corner there and um I just love this brush for this reason. So so kind of go over where that brown is. I 
then bring that further into the crease here. and I know everybody had in their collection somewhere for every skin tone um now I know that people have these colors so it's the kind of the reason why I chose to kind of go this way pull out one of my blending brushes here um this is a more 518 and this is a goat hair brush and these are the best I'm going to take that warm tote back on um, this brush and I'm going to go in here and just soften this up a little bit same for this side with the red and I'll be right back okay you guys so I'm going to go ahead and go in for the lid and you guys already know for my lid my favorite thing to use for my lid is what my fingers I don't like if I'm going in it depends on what I'm doing like I will try to use this brush to go in for the lid but I just don't think that it's going to be something that I'm gonna like we'll see we'll try that so I'll try to use a flat brush like this I have a Morphe one that I really like too, um, but I don't want to use that because it's really, it's, it's a lot wider than this, so I don't want to use that. Alright, so for this, I think for this look, I think the perfect color to put on that lid, on the middle of that lid, is going to be this Primavera color. It's kind of like a gold champagne, and I really love it. I think it's gorgeous, and I am going to use it on my lid. So let's see how this goes. That's pretty. Very pretty. That's very pretty. I like it. So, with this formula, flat brushes are fine. <laughs> this is the first time I've dipped into this color. So. big on golds but this one's really pretty it's like a champagne it's not really gold that's really pretty okay all right so I'm going to mash up the other side here and I'll be right back okay I just think that the colors that I have built up here are just really gorgeous I just really love them a lot um, now I want to take a smaller brush like this and since I know that I can use which I can use my fingers for this as well to kind of build up the color here the pigment because it always is going to be better with your finger I mean it just is just any shimmer will be better with your finger so if I wanted to build up the color here I could do that very easily and I think that just makes such a big difference <laughs> okay so we're gonna go into the other color the other shimmer here and this is for mirror it's right here and this is just like a a lighter champagne it's not it's not on the gold side it's more on the pink side I just want to see how this is gonna look on the inner the inner lid because I have used this one and I know this one is good with a, a small flat brush so I also used it with my fingers so let's try that That's what I'm looking for. Just to brighten up that inner corner, just like what? <laughs> brighten it up. So that way I won't have to use an inner corner highlight and we will be set. I am going to do my lash line. That's just really, really pretty. I love it. I love the way that looks. Those colors are just gorgeous. 
super gorgeous for this time of year. Um, I just love the way it looks. I do. Okay, so I'm super excited about how this is looking. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the warm taupe and I'm gonna pop it on this small, other small Luxie brush here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start working this um, lower lash line. And give this a really nice smoky effect. And then I'm gonna take that Cypress Umber, bring it up closer to the lash line. smoke it out out here I'll take a little bit of that red color a little bit of the red okra and I'm gonna put it right in the middle just bring out a little bit of the color into that lash line that is so pretty. I love it. I don't do I don't do looks like this very often, so this is definitely a different look for me. That's gorgeous. This is a gorgeous palette. Gorgeous palette. I love it. So I'm gonna just kind of bring in the top and the bottom together here. I have a little bit of that warm tote left on here. Just to kind of make this a little bit uniform in the corners. Okay, so that is this is the look, um, final look as far as my eyes go. Um, I am going to do some liner and I'm going to do some lashes. I'm going to do some, I'm not going to actually put lashes on because I'm not going anywhere. So I don't want to waste my lashes. Um, but this is basically, you know, a look that I don't normally go for. I don't normally go for these colors, but this is such a beautiful palette that I just, I just had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it. That is a beautiful, gorgeous palette. I understand why everybody loves it. And when I first used the palette, of course, the first colors that I went into were like the love letter color, the pinky mauve colors, and those are the first ones I've used. But this is the first time that I have ever tried to pull any of the browns or the reds out of it. And I think that it turned out gorgeous. I love it. I love the way it looks. So I'm really happy with the look. So I am going to go ahead and do some liner and I will do my eyelashes and then I will be right back with you guys. So give me just a minute. I'm done with my look and I've got my eyelashes and I've got my liner and everything where I want it and you guys always know that my favorite thing to do to you guys is what lips and I do have a beautiful little lip brush here that I did want to show off and this is a gorgeous lip brush and I love to use it with my Gerard lippies and I'm just gonna use um, just pick one of my really beautiful colors here from Gerard that'll go with this look and I think for this look, nothing would suit it better than a beautiful red. And I just, I want to really just like a reddish purple, I think would be beautiful with this. So I am going to take a little bit of this on my brush here. And I'm just going to show you guys how I do with the brush. And this is, this is a really good brush too. This is a metal mat and it's called Groupie, or excuse me, a Hydra mat. It's called Groupie from Gerard Cosmetics. This is how I use this beautiful lip brush and it's such a great, great formula with this Hydra Matte. I love it. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it and it's just really beautiful. I love it. And all the Hydra Mattes are just amazing from Gerard. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it was so long, but I think it had to be long. It had to. That, that pa This palette, oh my gosh, this palette is so amazing. So I love it. But I showed you some of my favorite brushes, some of my favorite things, what I clean them with, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it because I so enjoyed making this video. It was so much fun. So I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys got something really great out of this. Let me know in the comments down below. I will leave a 
as much information down there as I can as far as linking um, the Cinema Secrets and the, um, the brush shampoo, the Eco Tools brush shampoo, um, along with um, any of the other stuff that I can link down there that will be helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions, just make sure you let me know down below. As always, I want to argue with you guys. If you love the video, please give me a thumbs up, tap subscribe, and hit on the ring ding bell, and I will support you back as always. I love you all so much. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.